remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? On Friday, a Baltimore police sergeant got kicked in his natural ass. Now the city of Baltimore is in yet another crisis. The collective leadership is pointing fingers at one another. Even the governor, Governor Larry Hogan, chimed in on the whole thing. He said that the local leadership will pursue and prosecute. He want them bad. They've already arrested three people in association with the attack that authorities say happened on Friday at midnight when the officer was conducting a business check. They said that a person became argumentative and spat in the officer's face. So the officer tried to make an arrest, and as he was trying to arrest the guy, people started kicking him. I'll put a link in the description so you can check it out for yourself. But listen, yeah, they kicked him in the ass, but very lightly. It was almost like, it was like the kick was in slow motion. It ain't like they gave him a hernia or anything like that. It was like badly kicking him. Nothing like how the police just jump out and start kicking uh, citizens in America. Like you can see th literally thousands of videos where police show up on the scene and as soon as they accost somebody, they just start kicking, kicking, kicking the hell out of people. And I'm talking about forcefully kicking them in the head and everything else. So they're trying to make this seem like somebody murdered the cop. And then they said that the cop, I think they said he was treated at the hospital for what? Some scrapes? He fell on the ground? It looked like some cartoon, some type of Barney Fife thing to me. Here's what Mayor Young said. The video circulating of a Baltimore police sergeant being attacked while trying to do his job and make an appropriate arrest is a reminder of the dangers of our law enforcement officers face on the job. While we're all thankful that the sergeant was not seriously injured, the situation could have easily turned more dangerous. Commissioner Michael Harrison said, I am outraged as any resident of Baltimore should be by this incident. We cannot and will not allow any member of the public or one of our officers to be assaulted. We are now working to identify everybody involved and when we do, they will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. But Sergeant Michael Mancuso took it a little further. He's the president of Fraternal Order of Police Lodge 3. He said that city officials shared in the blame for the attack, claiming it was indicative of a broken city that is being led by people who have absolutely no real-time crime plan or, it seems, even know how to formulate one. Crime in Baltimore is out of control. And until new leadership is elected and appointed, this lack of respect for the law and those who enforce it will continue and deepen. The state's attorney, Merlin Mosley, also expressed outrage at the video. She said... I am disgusted by the blatant assault against the police officer in the video and my office will work with BPD to bring the perpetrators to justice. Violence has no place against anyone, period. But she added, the same sense of outrage in this case should be expressed by leaders of the police union when their officers are convicted of attempted murder, assault, and unlawful arrest against citizens. Damn Skippy. That's where I'm at. Keep that same energy when your officers are out there assaulting people, killing people, brutalizing people, raping people, stealing, selling dope. He's talking like, he's talking about the officers in the Baltimore Police Department like they're some angels. 
he's actually talking like there's somebody worth respecting. They don't respect themselves, but they want the pub public to respect them. Where they do that at? Where else can you go in, it, in the world and automatically get respect but give none? They think the badge and the gun alone makes them respect worthy. I personally believe that people want to respect law enforcement. I personally believe that people feel like there is a need for law enforcement. They just don't want the law enforcement that currently exists in the United States. They don't want the outlaws that are walking around with the badge and the gun and the uniforms, the blue uniforms or the brown uniforms, black uniforms, white uniforms, whatever they're wearing. They don't want them. The Baltimore Police Department every single day, they're talking about some officer who didn't kill somebody and rape somebody, who had brutalized somebody, who has stolen some drugs or sold some drugs or stolen property. These dudes are corrupt, all of them. The whole system, it starts at the top. The state's attorney got her job cut out because she is actually trying to restore order. She's finding her job more difficult to do because she's dealing with a bunch of goons and gangsters. And she could possibly get herself hurt because the gangsters and the killers and the thugs that are in corporate America and, and that are in law enforcement, they usually live to be old and retire and all of that stuff. It's the good ones that get in and try to change it that end up dead or getting fired, being outcast, being ostracized. That's the problem with law enforcement in America. There is a culture of vultures and it starts at the top. You can't fix it because at the very top, is corrupted. You understand what I'm saying? Imagine your household and you have a kid that's brilliant. Or let's let's just take that back. Don't have to be brilliant. Just a kid that wants a better life. The kid is respectful. The kid is uh, courteous. The kid is generous but he lives in a household where his parents are disrespectful. They're selfish. And they don't care about civility. What do you think will eventually happen to that kid in most cases? In most cases, they are going to corrupt that kid because over time, that kid may just decide, that you know what, it's not even worth it. That kid may lose hope. Say, man, it can't, I, I, ain't nothing I can do about this. It's like having a roommate who's messy. A nasty, nasty roommate. And you clean. You keep a clean house. But every time you come home, you got a sink full of uh, dishes. And you got trash on the floor. Bathroom look like a tornado hit it. Eventually, it's going to wear you down and you're just going to be like, you know what, let me just keep my own little space clean and, you know, let me just get through this. Let me just get through this moment. That's how it is. So, uh, this state attorney, uh, I think she's actually a good woman, Marilyn Mosley. I think that's a good woman. And I think she's a good leader. The reason why she is not able to do her job as proficiently as she can do it is because she's dealing with a bunch of devils. She's dealing with a bunch of corrupt people who is used to taking advantage of the citizens of Baltimore and she's trying to bring it to an end and uh, it's just a very, very difficult thing to do. But back to the officer. 
okay, he got kicked in the ass. At least he lived to tell the story. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?